Welcome back from the break. It's a special day for me today, 25th of February. Thank you to each and every one of you who are celebrating me out there. I've seen all the messages. Unfortunately, I've not been able to read all of them. So be patient with me, especially when I, got, when I get off the show, I will get back to all of you. But yes, in the meantime, God bless you all. I am Cookie, and I'm continuing the show this morning on TV3 New Day. Now, in accounting for stewardship, the MPP in their 2020 manifesto displayed all the achievements versus the promises they made in 2016, with free education being very heavy on the agenda. This morning on the show, we are tracking campaign promises to ascertain how far these promises have been fulfilled. And if they have not been fulfilled, what is the plan going forward, especially now that the MPP under the leadership of, of course, Nana Do, um, has been giving a second nod to lead or steer the affairs of this country with education as one of our primary concerns right here in Ghana. Now I have two gentlemen who are going to be helping me with the discussion when it comes to tracking campaign promises. But let's take this story. Now schools and the trees will soon be a thing of the past for pupils and teachers of the Kwatakwe Community School in the Pandai District. Isn't that good news? Now this follows the construction of a six unit classroom block for the community by the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation after TV3's expose about the harsh conditions pupils learn under. Let's go for the story and we'll be right back with the discussion. These are children of the Kwatape Community School at a parade Monday morning. Here, school children are marching confidently to a classroom where furniture and other teaching and learning materials are non-existent. A makeshift structure accommodating them is weak and not spacious. In spite of the multi-grade arrangement, kindergarten pupils receive their education under trees and academic work carried out on the floor. <laughs> Thank you. Clap for him. Eventually, their classroom was blown down by a storm, further affecting education in the community. Following TV3's persistent reportage on the walls of the school, the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation has gone to their aid. GNPC has financed the construction of a six unit classroom block with an office and a library. Work was steadily in progress at the time the news team visited the school. This, when completed, will improve academic performance. District Chief Executive of Bandai, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, while appreciating GNPC, also commended TV3 for making an impact in the lives of the locals. And one of the visits of uh, TV3, they went there and they saw that facility, and they came to my office to report that, uh, honorable, this school is under three, but the government is saying that we don't more have schools under trees. But I said, well, it's one of my sickness. So the TV3 said, okay, we are going to flame it. What is your point on it? I said, well, I have no problem. If you are sick and you don't sell your sickness, there's no way you can get cured to your sickness. And if that one will help, the district. I have no problem because that is my sickness. I cannot say cover it and that sickness will be there and it will kill me. So actually uh, that thing has been there and a lot of people show interest of me becoming to help. And as we speak now, GMPC uh, has come already and the structure is up there. And I think I'm very happy and privileged that the TV3 has come to film it and that's a very good fruit. 
He said schools and a tree still exist in the district, but the assembly is making strides at eliminating them. I cannot say we have covered all the schools and the tree. I know for sure that some other places will still have schools and the trees. Normally, they don't supposed to be uh, uh, schools and the tree. You know, these uh, private schools, they just get up, let me open the school and push it on the government. And that's why we have a lot of schools and the trees. <laughs> and I remember this song when this video came out. It went viral on social media. But yes, kudos to TV3 for that expose that has now provided the six classroom block for the pupils in the Pandai district. Now joining me this morning to further this discussion is Mr. Joseph Achu Homaji. He is the chairman of the National Executive Council Ghana Education Campaign Coalition. Um, okay, no, I think I made an omission. No. Correction, we actually have Mr. Charles Aheto Chega. Uncle Charles, can you hear me this morning? Hello? Yes. Mr. Chega, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Um, you are a bit faint, very, very faint. Okay, um, I'm going to try to sound a little more audible, but let's try it again. Can you hear me this morning, sir? Can you hear Hello? me, sir? We can't hear you. You are okay. very, very faint, too. Okay, so whilst we try to fix that, we, Mr. We Charles Ahetochega, he is the former Director General, Ghana Education Service, and he's not here alone this morning. We also have via Zoom, Mr. Joseph Achu Homaji. He is the Chairman of the National Executive Council, Ghana Education Campaign Coalition. <laughs> Hi, sir. Can you hear me? I hope yours is better. Mr. Homaji, can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. I can't hear you at all. You are very, very faint. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering how you answered, but you cannot hear me. Maybe I'm sound... Am I sounding inaudible? Sorry? Can you, can you clearly hear me? Okay, yeah, so the I sound think, is very faint. All right, we are having we're having a challenge with the sound. We'll just take a break to fix the problem. Hopefully, when we come back, we can talk to these two gentlemen. We'll be right back.